Hi guys! How's it going? Welcome to MKR Shoots. My name is Monica and I'm a photographer based in New York City. And in my channel, we review some experimental films, regular films. It's really for me to test it and waste my coins so you don't have to. You want to make sure that the film will perform before you spend your money because film is not cheap. Let's just let's just be real. Let me do that for you. If you have any film you want me to try, I will definitely track them down and uh, post a review. But today, today's film is really interesting. This is probably one of the most interesting films I've tested ever, not just in my channel. We painted the wall gray. This is very gray nowadays and I also got the Sony ZV-1 this is what I'm using to film right now and so far so good if I'm looking this way sorry this is really just the first time that I even have a monitor I'm loving it so far the only thing that I really hate about this camera is the battery sucks the battery absolutely sucks like I took it today for a photo shoot to film it for you guys it just sucked I brought all three of the batteries I didn't get to record everything that I wanted. Today, we are going to be testing Revlog Laser 200 film, and this time I gave it a proper chance. I took my Canon AE1 just so I can manually control everything. I gave it a proper chance. Not like the other film reviews where it's a point and shoot, where it's like shoot and hope for the best. The reason why I bought this is because it said that it was going to, I guess, put some pre-processed lasers. My first impression, I really liked the film. But I kind of personally wish that we didn't go to a museum to test it out. I don't want to take photos of other people's artwork, you know? I just tried to make it a little bit more interesting in these sets of photos. Took photos of staircases, took photos of random places in the street or whatnot. Did you guys enjoy that? I really love this set of photos actually. For not knowing where the laser lines are gonna be, I think it's framed pretty well. I was definitely pleasantly surprised. I'm not even gonna lie. One thing to note about this film though, unlike all of those pre-processed films, they do want everyone to be careful with underexposure. I guess because the laser light will dominate the, the frame, if it was underexposed, you'll just see a line and it's black. I didn't try it because I don't really want to waste the frame, but I think the stereo image kind of has that. Thank goodness I brought the Canon AU1 to test this out because I think if I brought a point and shoot, that would be a disaster. It would be a waste of film, really. What I did notice is when you're outdoors and it's like a daylight, like maybe if it's like really sunny, the photos under the laser lines are more neutral, more balanced in terms of like the white balance. Some of the indoor shots are like super like almost orangey, almost like it clashes with the blue and the green lines. It's also like the film is 200 ISO, so a lot of the shots that I, I took inside the museum the shutter speed is like super slow you have to you have to let some light in right so yeah um 
I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like I said before, if you have any other films that you want me to develop and you want me to spend my coins on so you don't have to, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't like it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Just do the works, right? Everything that YouTube has to offer, do them if you enjoyed this video. Oh, and before I leave, I think what I'm gonna try is like either recommend a song or an artist or an album or a YouTuber to follow. I don't know. I think today I'm just going to recommend a YouTuber. Her name is Bailey, S ba <laughs> Bailey Sarian. I'm a cult leader. Do I get tax exemption now? Oh. She is a makeup artist here on YouTube, but I'm not obsessed. I'm intrigued by the psychological effects of serial killers, like what is going on in their psyche. She has this uh, section in her video called Murder, Mystery, and Makeup Monday. She, I don't know, picks a serial killer or murder story or true crime and she does her makeup on screen and she talks about it in depth. It's just a very thorough kind of like study of these people, like true crime stories, and I think it's fascinating. That is the first uh, recommendation, I guess. I think we're just gonna start that in my channel. And there's a lot to recommend in this world. I hope you guys are well and staying well and get vaccinated. I just got my first shot yesterday. I'm feeling pretty limitless.